Really? Cooper's out sick? What a baby. Really? Cooper's out sick? Oh, baby! <laughs> Hallelujah! Happy birthday to me. Shelly, I'm gonna run to the grocery store real quick so I can make you some soup. Okay. I had lied to my mother and gotten away with it. The guilt was more than I could take. I had to make this right. I could confess and break my mother's heart, or I could turn my lie into the truth and actually get myself sick. Hi, Sheldon. Hello, Billy. I hear you're not feeling well. I'm not. I have a cold. That's too bad. Put her there. Why? Just shake my hand, Billy. But my mom says that's how germs get spread. I know. You do? Why did you talk to my mom? <laughs> Wait, wanna play? Aww. Mom. Oh, baby, what are you doing out of bed? I don't need to be in bed. I'm not sick. What? I lied to you so that I wouldn't have to take the swim test. You lied? I feel terrible about it. Well, you should feel terrible. I trusted you. I'm sorry. It's just that I was so afraid to get in that pool, so I let Georgie and Missy teach me how to fake it. They said it was easy, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. Georgie and Missy taught you how to do this? I cannot tell a lie. They sure did. OK, calm down. Now, you listen to me. You shouldn't have lied. It's always wrong. But you made up for it by telling me the truth. So you forgive me? I do. But I need you to do me a favor. As far as your father is concerned, you were sick. Isn't that lying? Honestly, no. The following day, I returned to school. I had no choice but to fulfill my swimming requirement. Much like Batman, I suited up and faced my fears. Unlike Batman, I did it with a doggy paddle across the shallow end of the pool. Uh, regarding pool sanitation, it turned out I was right. It was teeming with germs. Only I was the one who put them there. As it happens, my interaction with Billy Sparks did get me sick. I, in turn, created a small epidemic, taking down 128 students, four teachers, and one principal. It didn't stop there. I also infected my mother, father, sister, brother, Meemaw, and Meemaw's friend, Dale. The newly established boundaries of friendship helped keep Dr. Sturgis healthy. However, in an unrelated incident, he crashed his bike into some garbage cans. Luckily, he landed on his recently acquired athletic cup.